So this production agreed for Delph A2 is agreed a email a nami. Imagine a vuvu revenue the vacons dans a pays francophone that you have come back from a vacation in a French uh, like a French speaking country. This could be any French speaking country. It could be Africa, some place in Africa probably, some place in France, anywhere. Ecrive an email a nami decrivant vos experience by describing your experience. So, you always begin with a salutation. So, you write salut and then you put no de l'ami, your name, your friend's name, basically. J'espère que tu vas bien. So, the basic salutation that you put, I hope that you are fine. J'espère que tu vas bien. I hope that you are fine. Je viens de rentrer de mes vacances en France. Je viens de venir de plus infinitif. If you remember, this is your passé récent. I just returned from my vacations in France. Et je voulais te raconter un peu comment c'était. So I want to tell you about how it was. This is Amparfe. Why we are using Amparfe here? Because we are giving a description in the past. Nous avons passé, passé composé, nous avons passé une semaine à Paris et c'était fantastique. And it was amazing. Now this, the whole purpose of being fantastic was from a duration of time. The whole vacation. Because it is a duration, it is imparfait. Nous avons passé une semaine à Paris. We spent one week in Paris and it was amazing. So the whole week was amazing. Nous avons visité des lieux célèbres comme la Tour Eiffel, le Musée du Louvre et Notre Dame de Paris. We visited the popular places like la Tour Eiffel, Musée du Louvre et Notre Dame de Paris. J'ai adoré voir le tour y faire allumer la nuit. I loved watching the Eiffel Tower allumer, lighted up at night. C'était vraiment magnifique. C'était, it is again imparfait, it was really magnifique. It was really nice. Un des meilleurs moments a été quand nous avons mangé des crêpes près de Montmartre. So this is probably some place. So one of the favorite moments was, passé composé again, one of the best moments, favorite moments was when nous avons mangé, when we ate crêpe, uh, crêpes near this place, Montmartre, probably some place. Elle était délicieuse. Elle is les crêpes. So the crêpes were imparfait because it's talking about a quality, it's description. Délicieux. Feminine plural adjective. Nous avons aussi fait une promenade en bateau sur la Seine. So we also did a promenade, a walk en bateau. So promenade en, en bateau is basically, it's not a walk on a boat it's basically um, you do boating right so promenade en bateau sur la sienne um, la sienne is a river in paris right so we also did uh, a sort of boat tour uh, on on the river sienne c'est très très romantique so it was really romantic et une manière unique de voir la ville and it was a very unique way of uh, watching the whole city ce que j'aimais le plus. So, this is an expression that you can use. Ce que. Ce que, what. What I loved the most, c'était la gentillesse des gens. It was the kindness of people. Tout le monde était très accueillant. Accueillant is welcoming. Et prêt à aider quand nous avions des questions. So, the whole, uh, uh, I mean, the everyone there was very welcoming and they were always ready to help whenever we had any questions. 
Je te recommande vraiment de visiter Paris si tu en as l'occasion. So I recommend you truly to visit Paris if you have any occasion. Il y a tellement de choses à voir et à faire. Tellement means sort of like beaucoup. There are a lot of. Tellement. Things to see and to do. Pour ton prochain voyage, for your next vacations, pense à explorer aussi d'autres villes françaises comme Lyon ou Nice. Also think about going to other cities like Lyon or Nice. Qui sont aussi belles mais moins touristiques, which are also pretty but they are less touristic, moins touristiques. J'ai hâte de te voir. This is an expression which you can remember for letters uh, because it means I can't wait. So I can't wait. I can't wait pour te montrer les photos et te raconter plus de détails. I cannot wait for you to uh, see the photos and to tell you more details. A bientôt, like basic, when you quit writing a letter and you write your name here. And that's it. That's how you write a basic simple letter.